two. Hey, what's going on, my Weiss Schwartz Meisters? It's your boys again, Dean here with Kit. Yo. And we are going to be doing you know, something a little bit uh, different this time. We're actually doing an Avatar The Last Airbender set review. We're just kind of talking about it, giving our first impressions when we read the cards. We haven't read all the cards. I've read more than Kit, it seems. Uh, but yeah, we did the trial decks, and now we're on to the booster. So, Yeah, I just want to throw out there, too, really quick. Um, we The reason we're able to even do this is because uh, Weiss Tea Time has a spreadsheet on their website of all the cards as they were spoiled. And we're using that as the list of cards to like showcase them. So thanks to YC time for this and like being a great community person in general, <laughs> I guess. But yeah. Did you want to start this off or should I? Oh, uh, I mean, I can't. I can just read these cards, right? Yeah, go for it. So we're going to start off. We got Aang, the last airbender um, on attack. If all of your characters are trait, give a character 2K. That's a lot of power. And you have pay one sack. Uh, bounce a card that's uh or sorry yeah when when a card is fronted uh it's a jc so you pay one sack this card and then bounce your character to hand this is pretty cute i kind of like it what do you think i think that's a very powerful effect on that card yeah like it oh. <laughs> didn't we have a rant about too many good utility effects on one on a card you have like two I mean, like, very powerful utility effects here one is like yeah. this card like worst case scenario is like you can't use the jc effect anymore it's at least a 2k power pump right yeah because it can power pump itself yeah so it's a three five essentially let's see this card's really good we're not really giving a rating or whatever right we're just gonna be like yeah this card's good this card's garbage yeah, right pretty much just good card yep no signature though i see they skimped out on real signatures so sad yeah, sad thing about the uh yep. all sad right thing about the set but on to the next card here we got three two ang master of all elements the sky looks like he's in sicko mode right now or something holy crap when this card is placed on the stage from your hand you may hit the top card of your clock into the waiting room and then it's a climax combo with a choice uh, pay one, put one card from your hand into the waiting room when this card attacks. If energy bending is in your climax area and all of your characters are World of Avatar, you may pay cost. If you do, put the top four cards of your deck into your waiting room. If the total number of colors revealed among those cards is two or more, choose up to two cards in your opponent's waiting room. Return them to their deck and your opponent shuffles that deck. If there are three or more car uh, colors, deal three damage to your opponent. If if there are four or more colors, put the top card of your opponent's deck into cl into their clock. <laughs> what is this gotcha game? <laughs> like there's level a card that gives this. There is a card that lets this mill five, but only five. This card sucks. Yeah. Is there's no one? Okay, like. Can you believe but, that people are trying to build around this? Yeah. Like. No, I when, can't. I literally can't. I yeah, like. <laughs> When I look at this card, I all I see is like this is pay one, ditch one, shuffle back two, 99% of the time. Occasionally, you will get to burn three. And then that, that's about it. Worse uh, than that. Why does this card heal? Why does this card heal and then destroy your deck? Like, right? There's like, yeah. it doesn't it doesn't help you find an extra copy of itself. And then it requires hand and stock. So it's seven mm -hmm. stock to triple RNG machine, maybe get one burn three, right? Yeah. This card, I find this card horrendously bad, but that's me. I agree. This is horribly bad. Unless there's a support that's like, when this card gets milled into the waiting room, it's any color you want it to be or something like that from the deck. Like no. if they have, there's an effect like that out there or some PR card that we don't know about that's coming out. This card maybe becomes a thing, but like unless you're gar you can guarantee every single every single instance of this combo at minimum is doing the shuffle back two and burning three. This card sucks. Like, there's no like. Why do they have a support? Like you said, there's another card in the set that gives it lets it mill an extra card. That seems like yeah. that. Oh, but it's that's... worded in the worst way possible, to where it can only have one of them on board. And instead of just saying this card mills five, it says like plus one, but you can only have one copy of this on board. It it's like really bad. Yeah, that's yeah, this is really bad. Uh, anyone trying to build around this? Like, if you find something broken, well, I salute you, but right now, it's not looking too good for Aang, Master of the Elements here. All right, next card. Nope. 
Next card, Ang blending in 1045 on play. Mill four, total number of colors, two or more. It becomes a 6-5 until end of turn. Three or more, it gains twin drive. And four or more, uh, you can stock a card on play. 6-5 twin drive is playable. Sadly, this is not always a 6-5 twin drive. 6-5 by itself, not playable. Mandatory mill four instead of module mill four, not very good. If this makes your list, I'm I'm sorry, the set's uh, set's a little scuffed. But you might actually play this in the four color deck. Yeah, this is definitely leaning heavier into that four color deck. This seems really garbage, though. Um, I I actually hope they don't like push really hard for that like a like what like this weird like four color thing. Well, oh no. Yeah, I. I think it's just pretty rough, but uh, oh, where are we at now? The lion turtle. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just so people are aware, <laughs> some of these cards were spoiled way early by like uh, booster boxes being opened early for promotion. And so we basically have the entire set, but some of the pictures here are going to be really scuffed like this. Um, so lion turtle. I think they're funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All your, all your other World of Avatar characters gain 500 power, and then at the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, you may pay the cost. If you do, move this card to an open uh, position of your backstage, and the cost is pay one. All right, so I was thinking about this a little bit um, when I first opened this before, when we were setting up. I think generally this card is super garbage, right? This card is actually unplayable. What are you talking about? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hear me out, all right? I don't know the entire set, but what if you have a lot of really good runners or center runners and then you can put this in the middle and attack with it and then pay one to put it in the back row. Now you still have a place to run. OK, that was my pitch for for this card at being the most optimal. It could be uh, this card actually sucks, though. Oh, I, it does. You know, Dragon Maid would actually like this profile. To, to go with the center runner, like you said, maybe yeah. maybe you're right. Maybe you're onto something. But I mean, like you know, outside but, of that, it just uh, it seems pretty mediocre at like at best it even sounds mediocre. It's a little bad, you know, Yeah, maybe a little. Yeah, because if, if you're not playing standby, your back row is usually devoted to like one. Usually there's like one uh, brainstorm all the time. And then the secondary card usually has to have like some be very impactful. Right. And I feel like Global 500 is not impactful nowadays. So pretty much. All right. So yep, next card, Appa Flying Bison, level zero, one K on play, top check, level two or higher, put into stock. So Buddha, we like this effect. I, I at least like this effect. Uh, and on play, it gets 3,000, so it becomes a 4K. This card, really good in my opinion. Super good, especially if you need to build stock. This is amazing. Like worst case scenario is um, you just know what you're going to trigger, right? You're like, oh, I yeah. see a climax. All right, I'll I'll brainstorm. Um, you play this. You're uh, you hit a level two or higher. You're like, sick. I just got a free brainstorm that also now mills five instead of four. So uh, that seems pretty cool. I I always like these type like of cards, it. right? I I just like that extra stock. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I it's like good utility builds resources, and then this card is big enough to fight other things. I wouldn't be surprised that you you'll see this in decks for sure. Next card. All right. Uh, it was Appa and Momo uh, Samurai Battle? Is that the big yak thing in this like little is a little monkey? OK, it. Yeah, it seems so. <laughs> one one. It's a one one counter. Uh, when you use this card's backup, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is. Oh, it's just a uh, leaf. It's an anti damage counter. 2K anti damage counter. Anti damage. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, boy, I get the fun effect. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, it, let's be honest, Leaf counters they're not super playable. Uh, yeah. I, they are and they aren't. It's, like, kind of weird, right? Yeah, it, the Leaf counters are, like, good in decks that, like, have very big boards that, you know, boards that will stay around. And then you don't really care about your resources you that much really, because you really need that cancel, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it's a, it's yeah, it's essentially like you all end your last turn. And you only have one stock left over and your board lives every time. Like having a leafy counter doesn't feel bad then. But yeah, 
This next card here. This is you, right, Dean? Hell yeah. Let's go. Aang Learning Avatar State. This is a custom card if I've ever seen one. Uh, it continuously has, if you have a choice, gold bar, standby, or pants in your climax area, it gains the same icon as that card. I think the gold bar one is really funny because that means that this card comes into your hand. Yeah, this um, I would never put this in gold bar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with choice, it's good. With standby, it's good. And with pants, it's good. It's actually good with three of those. And gold bar, there's almost an argument for it because it also has alarm on top of your clock. For more, it's like the uh, Himari, right? The Himari bomb where mm -hmm. you get to uh, blind stock. Yeah. So I think this card, uh, this card is pretty funny and I do like it actually. So I don't know how you feel, but okay, I, this I like it. I actually very much like this card for a couple different reasons. Uh, one, the alarm effect is pretty solid. Uh, yes, there are times where you will draw this card and it is a dead card in your hand. But this, the way this game works is usually the, a lot of the times you get new resources or trade cards in your hand for other things. So having this card in your hand isn't normally the worst case scenario. The only time this is really bad is like when you're in a losing game state you, and you top deck this when you really needed your combo or something. Or like any other card would have been better than this. Like that's the only time I see like these dead, these quote unquote dead draws being really, really bad, right? Because early right. game you're not going to be playing level twos anyway, and if this was any other level two with a soul trigger on it, you wouldn't be able to play it, right? So like it that doesn't really affect you. Um, the only time it really affects you is like the very end of the game, and if you're if you're literally in top deck mode to win the game, uh, you probably made so many mistakes earlier that. You, sh you it's your fault for being in that position like, or that or your opponent just decided to swing like uh four 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 and you took tw tw 12 damage to the face immediately yeah. at when you're at like high level one at, at that point that you're kind of crap out of luck then uh, what i really like about this card is that um so your choice trigger the, it becomes a choice trigger if you have a choice trigger in the climax zone right so yeah. your choice trigger also now has a cho uh, trigger on it too when you trigger it. So this not only activates choice, but it also has a trigger to give one extra soul, which I think is like funny and pretty interesting. Um, what do you mean? You uh, because extra soul. so uh, choice trigger doesn't it isn't it only a choice by itself? There's no extra trigger on it, right? Oh, but this gains the yeah. choice trigger along with its own trigger. So it's a trigger. You when it, you trigger this card, you get the trigger effect of choice and the extra soul from the trigger. Does that oh, make yeah, sense? Yeah, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, and like uh, this being in like an eight choice list or something like that, uh, it wouldn't be too bad because this if you hit this card or a choice trigger any other time, this is always a card you can just stock away if you don't want it. Uh, the other case, I think this is really good is in standby obviously because anytime you slam a standby say if you're playing eight standby you're now actually playing 12 standby and if we learned anything from nino and other standby decks is if you get more standbys it, it's a really good payoff right definitely not, yeah not only that uh if what, what's that there's a card later on we'll probably end up talking about that can enable you to get extra attacks during your attack phase and having this in your deck to trigger as an extra standby could potentially help you like elongate your finishing turn essentially right okay yeah so i i really like this card too obviously i only really like it in uh choice de uh, decks that run choice or standby those are probably i think the two most impactful ones uh, maybe there's a reason to run it with pants but or if not pants arch or what, what are we what are we calling it um, blue jeans blue jeans we'll call it blue jeans yeah you can run it with your blue jeans trigger like maybe if there's a really good blue jeans combo uh, <laughs> then uh, this is like okay too with like playing a standby top end or something like I that i think it's really good with the pants actually I'd, i have to see more of like what blue has to offer but right now like just looking at it i think standby and choice are like the two strongest triggers on that to get extras of um Obviously, uh, pants could be very powerful as well. I, I really like this card. I, it's interesting because this is one of the few cards I did see spoiled earlier and people talk about. And it seemed like there was a very wide range of people saying this card is actual garbage to people thinking this card's good to some people being like, I don't know, maybe I run it as a two of, you know, right. what, yeah, what did you I know you liked it at the uh, on the spoiled, right? You still like it, right? I, I still I think it's kind of crazy, actually. I think so too. I'm. I will be some. I guess 
depending on the rest of how the rest of the set looks, I'd be really surprised, especially if there's like a really good eight standby list running around that the that list doesn't run this as a four of, you know, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because I yeah, those those specific special triggers are limited for a specific reason. And, you know, if we get more of them, it's they're just really powerful. OK, I've been jerking this card off too long. Next card. Next card. This one's you. <laughs> Ang missing companion experience. If Ang missing companion is in your level, this card gets minus one level while in your hand. If all of your characters are world of avatar, this card gets 1000 power. So this is essentially a one one seven K if you level up this two one and then as climax combo that has a choice as the climax. Uh, when reunion with the group is placed in the climax area, if this card is in your center stage, you your hand has six or less cards and you have another world of avatar characters. Search your deck for up to one uh, APA lost. Put it in any position on your stage, shuffle your deck and that character gets the following ability until end of turn auto. When this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, you may put the top card of your deck into your stock. All right, so the two one we don't get to see because it's the seventeenth card in the list, right? Apple it lost, so yeah, yeah, we can't look ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too hard. That's too much work. Uh, so well, I guess we'll come back later to finalize this. But right now, like just looking at this, she's what I want to see any. Got to have yeah, him you, in level. You got to have gotta... him in level, and you have to have the Apple lost in your deck to search it out, right? To play it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of I mean I it depends how the, if the other cards like really busted then maybe then obviously this is going to be really good but like on the surface level without seeing everything else this card just seems very very mediocre um yeah. so I'm not really really I don't uh, excited think this for is it the spice I don't think it, this is the spice but it might be who knows it might be just, I, don't know I think the set yeah is. all right here you go next card ang the importance of forgiveness uh Three, two, ninety-five, two or less climaxes. Early play, five hundred for every other character in your backstage. So it's a ten-five, and on play, top check X. I hate this. I I think that the top check X's uh, usually. I like them when they're like Jake the dog, and they're four or more. I don't like the two or less on those. Oh crap! Yeah, I didn't even see that. I for some reason in my brain it auto filtered into four or more. Okay, so yeah, I, I was gonna have an argument with you about it, but then you reminded me two or less climax. Yeah, this card pretty suck, pretty much sucks. Yeah, I mean it's it's still top check X. You know, you still mm -hmm. might play it if you don't have a lot of dig in your deck, but I do think that the condition is uh, terrible for this effect. Yeah, because a lot of times when it comes to with early play conditions, two or less climaxes, um, it. It, you can relatively if you have good deck control, you can relatively get there, but you still don't have full control of like my opponent just like can or like I just canceled three times in a row. And now my hand that I had playables for next turn are is like almost unplayable. That's why a lot of people do like the four or more like Dean was saying. So this card is like if you need the dig, then you might play it and that's it. Right. You probably never play this as an early play almost. Pretty much. I mean, yeah. like it might, but I, I just think the timing is bad. So, yeah, usually early plays that dig. Uh, I only play them in decks that want to loop the same level one combo over and over again until level three. <laughs> and yeah, so next card here, Ko, the face stealer. Oh, interesting. At the beginning of your climax phase, choose one of your world of avatar characters and that character gets 1k power for it until end of turn. And then it's a spammable brainstorm mill four for each climax uh, among those cards. Perform the following action. Search your deck for one avatar, world of avatar character. Reveal it, put it into your hand. Then choose one card in your hand, put it into the waiting room and shuffle. Card is probably like a one of in like the standby list. Ready? Spicy, spicy. Oh, I, yeah, I guess standby almost. <laughs> yeah. I guess I, I think that spammable brainstorms are unplayable. That's me. I, I have never thought they were good, even in something like standby. I generally agree with you. Uh, it just depends on people if they're a little bit more scared of having bad deck states usually when i play standby i'm like you know what if i have a bad deck state screw it whatever i don't care like I, i'll yeah, like ride the bad like deck state out then draw brainstorms for speed than i would this thing. yeah because it at least adds to your hand right 
Yeah, um. Like, well, yeah, but like, yeah, like I said, I think like maybe you see this in like some standby list or something that needs the deck speed for emergencies or something or to fill up the waiting room. But otherwise, this card's pretty mediocre at best. All right, yeah. next card. Next card, Ang and Katara expressing affection. If you are level two or higher, this gets sack. Uh, summon a Katara and Ang reciprocated feelings uh, onto the board where this was, and it has. Uh, put a struck down from your climax area into the waiting room. Beginning of your encore step, if you have another character, uh, choose this card and one of your other characters and return them to your hand. So you get to like plus two. Or oh, this is terrible though, right? Because the two that you plus one was in the front row. Because for this to be a for this to be a plus two for sacking the climax, you have to bounce two cards on your board. But the set already has a JC. Okay, wait. Oh, wait, is... wait, no, no, this is this is a combo you design to just like ram into your opponent and then bring it back to your hand and do it again every other turn. Oh, yeah, but like, but like, it's terrible, right? Because like, if you have you have to have five cards in hand or less in order to actually plus off of this. This has to be in the front row, so you have to open up two slots. Mm -hmm. Like this is this is not very good. What is the card it summons? Katara uh, it's a three two Katara and Ing. Uh, we haven't seen it yet. I don't believe so. Okay. Yeah. I think this card is, is like there might be a really funny deck with it. That's how I see what, it at what, least. What triggers on? Oh, it's on choice. It's on a choice. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan. Yeah. I, well, I, I think this combo has potential, but it just really depends on like what other like garbage cards you can crash into your opponent that gain some kind of effect and you bring them back to your hand. Kind of like the Zombieland Saga deck. Um, but that deck was is really good. So All that right. deck was also on a brainstorm. So <laughs> true. <laughs> on a four of brainstorm that also plus <laughs> ridiculous. All right. Amber Island players casting horrors. Oh, I read these cards. I think there was like a combination. Oh, you showed me this. Yeah, the this, is, yeah the, this card is insane. So this card is actually insane. Yeah. Um, so this card is considered Aang when you play it, when it's on the board. And then it has an effect where on play, you can discard a card from your hand uh, to search your deck for any one of these other Ember Island players. But the one you're most likely, like, likely looking at is probably the next. No, not the next one. Oh, this is not even in order. Why would they not do this? I think it's terrible jokes. Oh, my God. OK, anyway, I'm, we'll just say the other card it ha uh, that comes out. It gives if it's like if this um, card is on the board, then the other card itself gains power and a soul. Right. And then this card also gains power. Is that how that works? Or does it not get any power also? Do what? The the other card that's really good that pulls out the other level zero for this. What what would what does like it do exactly? Four, it was like a four K two soul. Yeah, and it, it makes this thing a th it gives a thousand power to this, and it itself gets like three K power and a soul if this thing's on the board. Yeah, so so you just play like yeah, you play like a four four line, and there's your plusing zeros. Yeah, if you've if you've ever played Azure Lane, um, there is a there's a common there's a package in green exactly like this that i consider i think it's one of the most broken packages in for like a level zero like aggressive game plan it does the same thing as this except for some reason both cards gain a soul so you get two two soul beaters instead which is really wonky um does the card also discard anything or something it is this it might be discarded character i'd have to go back and check uh but this one is also discarded character um but Either way, the obvious the Azure Lane package one is way better than this one, but this card is still really, really good. I, I would rate this very highly as like a very good level zero game plan. It's if yeah, it just makes it very consistent, I feel like. All right. Next card here. Next card, Momo the Winged Lemur. Uh let's see, level zero, two K on play. Shuffle two characters back into your deck and then choose a character and it gets plus one soul. Yeah, that's not very good. We kind of wish. What do we care? It's also a climax swap. Do we care that it's plus one soul instead of side attack without soul penalty? Uh, I don't think so because you know what's really sick here is we remember that two one we were talking about earlier. You can shuffle two of those back into your deck. You can, or or this combos with our ang you bounce it back every turn shuffle two back in every turn slam choice easy game uh, infinite infinite soul let's go 
Don't worry. I got yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. You just keep filling up your deck more and more until like, you know, there's nothing but cards and zero climaxes in your deck and you just keep shuffling cards back. Someone's going to lose that game eventually. Yeah, somebody's going to take some damage. <laughs> All right. Next card here. Uh, Gasto. Gasto. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I can't read. Uh, mentor. Um, Memory, if this card is in your memory at the beginning of your climax phase, choose one of your characters with Aang in its card name, and that character gets fire power until the end of turn. Already sounding bad. Pay one. Put this card, uh, put this standing card into your memory. Choose one Aang missing a companion or Aang avatar state in your waiting room and return it to your hand. Uh, this sounds really, really bad already. I This is garbage. Unless you're, like, for some reason playing the Aang missing companion combo. Like, maybe then you play this, but otherwise this card sucks, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, memory? Memory Avatar? Memory Avatar, question mark? As you play your 3-2 Aang Avatar State from the Trial deck? All right. Next card here. Next card. Appa Ready to Fight. one zero three five. That does not sound ready to fight. Um, at the beginning of your attack phase, choose one of your characters and it gets plus 1,000. It also has a uh, Ditch a card. The beginning of your opponent's attack phase. Choose one of your other characters. Put it face up underneath your character as a marker. Oh, it's it's Nader, but like it doesn't run. This card, man, they they print this like they make better zeros than this. <laughs> do, you, do you know what Pixar has? <laughs> Pixar has this on a back row runner. It has the suck a card up under it for a, a hand mm-hmm. with on a back row runner. This card, this card's called Ready to Fight, and it, it's a card you put in the back row. I don't think this is. I don't think this is it. Um, it's okay, but um, it's it's like only okay, right? Yeah, at best it's okay. It's like the only reason you play this is if that secondary effect is really important to like for your consistency for that stake. Otherwise, I think this card is just not good ever. All right, next card here. We have this 1-1 one, one, Momo Loneliness. When this card becomes reversed, if the battle opponent's level, it's a dachi. It sends the stock. Um, this is yeah. actually unplayable. I, I think a dachi's are actually unplayable. Let's be honest. Yeah, generally they are unplayable. Also, those memory ones. Those memory ones are the, insane. The memory ones are insane because the memory is a zone that people can't really interact with well at all. So like that's why that like that's like the premium of a dachi's. This is pretty mediocre in general. Um, you probably play it if I guess there's a lot of two ones running around that you can't handle, but okay. hopefully that'll be I, gone I, soon. I, I just don't like Adachis anymore. I, I think they're like so poorly positioned, but yeah, I agree. Unless, unless they like completely disrupt in a strategy to like your opponent falling apart because you've memory card multiple either. cards, but yeah, they got to do something else. Yeah. Or be zero stock like mobs. <laughs> um, Next card, though, Appa Lost. This is the card we can summon off that other 2-1. We could shuffle it back with our Climax Swapper. Uh, on Attack, if you have another character, it goes to 10k. And on Reverse, it uh, Time Machines. It's a pretty good card to summon. And then, like, what was it? You get to Salvage when it kills something as well? So it, uh, No, no, no. Away. I think it's... Doesn't it Stock Charge? Or... What, was it? it Stock Charge or Salvage? I don't know. Oh, remember. it is Top Card of Deck into Stock. Okay, yeah. so the idea is <laughs> that your 2-1... What you get like a 10k beater for the rest of the game. Well, even though you win that lane, huge way that's a huge um, assumption there, right? Yeah, (laughs) you get a 10k beater for at least two turns. Um, it uh, it opens up the lane for itself. I mean, that's time machines do. So you always Mm -hmm. have like at least a lane. They can't triple crash you. Goes with the ang. I mean, like, and what? And then you you use the Appa ready to battle to suck up your two one. So the following turn, you slam another choice, get another one of these, double reverse, double re- reverse Uno. Anyway, um, I like, yeah, but maybe this combo is like pretty okay in like an eight choice list. I could see that because the two one and this, they're also triggers. No. Oh my god, why is this? This just makes me so sad. What the two one only gives, um. It only gives the card it summons. Yeah. On reverse, but why does it not just give all of your Apple loss this effect? It would be busted, man. It would not be, but it would be playable. Yeah, it would be playable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this package seems like pretty whatever, at least right now. Um, I don't know what else the set has, but I definitely would not be playing this. Like maybe you want to do some cute eight choice thing. 
then yeah, this could work. But yeah, other than that, eh. Next card here, we have Yip Yip. It's an event, 1-0 counter. Search your deck for up to one avatar um, character revealed to your opponent. Put it into your hand. Choose one of your cards in your hand. Put it into your waiting room. Shuffle your deck. Choose one card on your... Oh, this is just man man maneuver gear. What the fuck? Why did they just reprint maneuver gear? <laughs> All right. So this is a search maneuver gear. Search, ditch, move card. So um, I guess that's why they want you to have that other 1-0 um appa or whatever his name is his name's appa right that sucks up another card uh i think well is it oh because you can suck him up and then yeah that's oh you're disconnecting there you still here dean oh yeah i'm sorry okay yeah you cut off there there we go okay yeah, yeah that, no that's a two card unplayable combo that i didn't think about <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems pretty mediocre right now. So move gear without Aaron is not good. Yeah, pretty much. But I'm sorry you got a bad card. Well, I get the good card again. Right, Aang consulting his past selves. If you do not have a character with Aang, you don't have an Aang, you can't play it. But top check four, choose a character, add it to hand, and put this into your memory. It goes in memory avatar. We're gonna be able to get eight memory now. You know, <laughs> and it grabs the it grabs the level. You know, the, the the one guy, the old man, so you can put him into memory. And then if this is in your memory, you can play climaxes without meeting color requirements and all of your characters without uh, color requirements. So you only have to level yellow. Interesting. I, this is in Bane Dream. And I like it. I, I tried to slot it into a deck. If you're playing like a memory deck, you can. Uh, what I like about this one is I don't think... Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah. My problem in Bang Dream was you still needed the color for events, and I think you still need it here, so never mind. Uh, it doesn't let you play events, but characters, so definitely interesting, and memory is always neutral, so I like it. Yeah, this is this is pretty interesting. It also provides like a little deck speed too, right? Huh. I've never played with a card like this, so I I definitely would have to play with it to really grasp how good and strong it is. But it's definitely an interesting card. I, I give it that. All right. I think that's basically it. We're hitting the climaxes here. What is going on over here on the right? These guys are like shooting laser beams out of their mouth. What is happening? Uh, <laughs> 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 what? What is going on? <laughs> Someone please tell me. Yo, that struck down. Is is this is this Aang and this over here is the the other bald guy that peop that's the bad guy, but then they become best friends by the end? Is this what's happening here? Uh you know, I haven't seen the show, but that's what right. it does look yeah. like. You know, look, look the, the the guy that's in red kind of looks like he's being like, you know, he's found Jesus and they're baptizing him to become they the are. new avatar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, don't, I just don't oh, know what the heck is going on in this picture. It's such a weird picture. It prob this is probably like a really hype moment for people who are really into Avatar and watch the entire series, but I have not. So <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't <laughs> Let's just go to I the next like one. Just, I also like how it's just three choices. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. Dean, this triple R reminds me of that meme we were talking about last night with Miles Morales. <laughs> That is uh, that is a pretty good meme. Uh, yeah, okay, listen. If you're playing the Struck Down combo, uh, you guys got to play the Triple R version because this art is really good on the Triple R. This one's okay, but we want the Triple R version. All right, our final choice here. Um, what is this one? Begin with the group. Okay. Is this a level two combo? I think so. Yeah. All right. That sums up yellow, I believe. Yeah, that sums up yellow. Uh, you can find us in the next video. This should be out tomorrow. Um, I think the next color is green, right? Or is there no green in this set? Oh, wait, there has to be four because there's four colors in the set. All right, yeah, so next color will be green. We'll see you guys in that video later. See ya.